People are having a field day at the moment over Kim Kardashian's claims that she cries herself to sleep amid parenting challenges. This woman has an insane amount of nannies that look after her children 24-7. She then drops them off to Kanye every other week to look after. Not only that, she's got a gardener that does everything, a personal assistant, multiple people that run her household. She's got nothing to cry over. This is what fans are saying in the comments. They are going off at her, ripping into her. Meanwhile, there are actual solo moms out there that don't have heaps of money, that are struggling to feed mouths, that have real life problems. People are like, this is such a piss take. One commenter even said that they would be laughing, not crying themselves to sleep at night with their kids if they were as rich as her. So what's the tea? What's going on? She referred to her house as a tornado and there are nights that she cries herself to sleep. And she said there's so many moods and personalities in her house that are always fighting and then there's no one there to confide in. And she's just basically gone off that parenting is really hard, but she had insisted that she loves being a mom. Meanwhile, in reality, Kim Kardashian is out here dropping the kids off to the nanny and gallivanting all around the world. And not even that, even when she does just take her one favorite child Northwest out to events with her, she just leaves her outside to fend for herself among all these paparazzi. We've seen it before, it was really dodgy. And Kim has been accused of being a bad mom for this. So yeah, people just don't feel any sympathy for her at all, mainly because she's rich and she's got all these people running around after her, doing all the hard stuff. Daily Loud had recently reported in an upcoming podcast, Kim Kardashian spoke about what she thought parenting would be like before they had kids and how parenting is like for her now. She agrees that when you have kids, the days are long, but the years are short, describing it as the best chaos. Kardashian said, so like when you're in it, I mean, especially when they're babies and you're feeding, there's madness going on. It's like full madness. The Kardashian star further details on the same and said that the kids all need you, whether you have to help with someone's hair or put on the shoes for another. She'd added, this all turns into crazy madness with running around and helping all the kids. Kim also added, it has been the most challenging thing. Kim continued, there are nights I cry myself to sleep. Like, holy shit, this effing tornado in my house. Like, what just happened? The skim founder also added that the kids also have all these moods, personalities and fighting, during which she realised that no one else is going to handle it and it is just on her. Though Kim Kardashian calls parenting one of the hardest jobs in the world, the reality star agrees that it is also the most rewarding job in the world. Now, speaking of Kim Kardashian gallivanting off and going overseas, let's talk about her going on extravagant holidays with Tom Brady, her alleged new boyfriend. So Domewire had recently recently shared a blind item with the subject line, Starlet looking for a vacay property and maybe more. The blind source had said, the A-list reality star was spotted touring properties in this warm locale. The thing is, she was using a certain newly single A-list athlete's golf cart as her mode of transport. Just friends or maybe more? And after this got out, people instantly started accusing Kim Kardashian of secretly dating Tom Brady. A day later, an inside source appeared to corroborate the story telling Page Six that Kim apparently took a trip to the Bahamas recently in order to tour a property at Barker's Bay Golf and Ocean Club, an exclusive members only residential community where Tom has a home. So is this the same Kim that was crying because she was saying that parenting was hard and crying herself to sleep at night? Who's also going on these extravagant vacations to the Bahamas in her private jet to go and see her new man? Is that, is that the same Kim we're talking about? Yes, it's very interesting, isn't it? Now, according to that insider, Kim reached out to the retired football star for advice before heading out to view the resort, which would explain why she may have been using his golf cart. The source also claimed that Kim and Tom are very friendly. She'd phoned him and asked for his advice on Baker's Bay. And obviously it wasn't long before the reports began circulating online and their fans reacting to them having an apparent relationship. My God, I don't think the world is ready for a Tom Brady, Kim K relationship, lol. Kim K and Tom Brady, ha 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 ha. Oh, the apocalypse is really upon us now. 
So the celebrity dating rumors are that Kim Kardashian and Tom Brady are hooking up and that just seems like such a messy pairing. I'm so bored with my life. I hope it's true and that we get some good old fashioned celebrity mess in the headlines. Now, how is Kanye feeling about all this? If he really cares, to be honest. Well, he's got this new wife who's apparently out here flirting, even though we know she's not. All the men on social media seem to think that his wife is flirting with fans. It's not the case at all. That's all thanks to this TikTok video that recently got posted online. Apparently Kanye really likes Tom and he's praised him before multiple times in the past, even when he was in the middle of his divorce with Kim. However, we know that Kanye gets very jealous of Kim and did not like Pete Davidson when she was dating him. He went off multiple times on social media about how much he hated Pete. And I've been dragged and how she's not my wife, she don't have a last name and now he texting me talking and bragging about how he's in bed with my wife and I'm like, well, who's watching my children if he's texting me bragging about being in bed with my wife? And, and I thought this wasn't my wife no more legally since I got the, uh, you know, I got the lawyer to finally finish the divorce. So it'll be interesting to see if and when Kim and Tom publicize their relationship, if Kanye will switch up and start hating on Tom, just like he was hating on Pete Davidson. Now going back to what Kim was saying about how it's so hard being a multi-millionaire with lots of nannies that take care of your kids. When fans heard this, they flipped their shit, obviously. On Twitter, people had said, it must be tough crying yourself to sleep in a mansion with many people able to look after your kids and take care of your daily activities. Single mothers have it hard, but for someone of her status to claim she has it hard is ridiculous. Now imagine being broke with two to three jobs and being a single parent without any help from family, right? Like what are you even saying? You're literally a multi-millionaire and your family are also multi-millionaires. Stuff like this makes me believe that they are out of touch with reality. Well they are, and that is why they're getting cancelled at the moment, and why not many people want to watch this show anymore, because they're so out of touch with reality, so maybe this is Kim's way of trying to seem relatable, but if anything, it's showing just how out of touch she is with reality. Another user said Kanye was literally begging to keep the family together. Well, I'm not going to argue with that one. She's also talked about moving on in the future with potentially someone else, and how she's not close to the idea of expanding her family. Here's what she had to say. Do you feel like you're, the kid thing like is behind you, so that's or would so you I do. No, I do. I couldn't. <laughs> you pause there. I just, I just don't want to ever say never, say never. I agree with. I'm that. at the like, obviously, right at the end of that conversation. So, what are you guys' thoughts on all this drama? Let me know in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more juicy, juicy tea.